it's loud, holy cow. people. It is 10.43 a.m. Sunday, December 5th. Um, okay, so sorry, my computer is um, booting up and opening all the million tabs on my browser so I can check on social media and stuff this morning. Um, we haven't done much walking the last few days because I wasn't feeling well from my booster shot, um, but I'm hoping we can catch up on some of that today. So I'm gonna check on social media and other than walking and doing chores around the house, I don't think we're doing much today. I think we're just sticking around the house. So I think that's, a, that's fine with me. Um, I'm going to check in with a friend who's having a tough time and make sure she's okay and all of those things. Do some art, catch up, watch some more of my Felix Scheinberger class. I'm really enjoying his expressive creative way of drawing i'm really really enjoying that so um he has a unique expressive way of drawing and journaling and i yeah it's really my thing at the moment so and maybe going forward so anyway i got some more of that class to watch so that's gonna be and i've got a book of his that i got from the library that i think i'm gonna it's on my Christmas wish list, and I think if I don't get it for Christmas, I think I'm gonna just buy it for myself, because yeah, I'm really enjoying it. So anyway, all right, that's it for the minute. I'll be back. Hey guys, so just got off the phone with the daughter. We're discussing Christmas shopping. Anyway, uh, obviously we're outside, we're walking. I'm feeling, as I said earlier, mostly normal. Well, I mean, that's relative, but mostly back to my normal. <laughs> post-COVID shot, COVID booster shot. Anyway, we're gonna get some steps in before lunch. It's so nice to be out in the fresh air. It's a little bit chilly, but that's okay. Anyway, I'm gonna go see what we can see, take some pictures, and I'll be back. I think we come here too much. They don't seem to be afraid of us anymore. <laughs> anyway, there's at least two pair, but I think there's at least one more duck farther down in the pond. Lots of crows, lots of squirrels. They're all out enjoying the sunshine, even though it's cold before it rains again. There's a couple more, there's two, back, two more back there. Oh yeah, hold on. Five, seven. And they're just kind of hard to see because they blend in. Is 10 3 a.m. Monday, December 6th. I have just been fiddling around on the computer and having my morning coffee and doing my exercises, and otherwise, haven't really accomplished a whole lot. <laughs> but I'm probably the most festive street in the neighborhood. I don't think there's any houses down there with no decorations on. If any, there's maybe one. Pretty cool. I'm still in my pajamas. <laughs> it, I don't know what time it is. Nine o'clock, 9.30. It's been an interesting morning already. So I don't have to rush to get to the foot doctor because my foot doctor has COVID. So my appointment had to be rescheduled. That's okay. So we have some unexpected things going on around the house too. And I need to go do an order pickup at Home Depot and drop some stuff, a package off for my husband at the UPS store and, 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 and. So anyway, I'm going to do my exercises, take a shower, get dressed, make the bed, all the things for the things because of the things. Yeah. I'll be back. Good morning guys. So as I said earlier, my foot doctor appointment's been rescheduled because the foot doctor has COVID. 
So I am going to go out and run a whole bunch of errands that honestly I wasn't going to do today. I was going to do tomorrow or Friday or even wait a little longer than that and do them with the husband over the weekend. But I'm going to go do them now because I've got time. I've already done my exercises and stuff and yeah. So uh, this wasn't how I was planning on my day to go, but you know, you got to roll with the punches, don't you? All right. That's it for the minute, I'll be back. Okay, the two mailing things are done and I need to try not to lose the backs of my earrings again. That's the one thing about wearing a mask that, that annoys me. Um, I have to buy bags of earring bags. Anyway, um, I digress. So the two mailing things are done and now we're gonna head over to Beaverton and run two errands over there then we'll head back this way and hit Fred Meyer and return one of the two books I got at the library and yeah um it is this one by Julie Faith Van Bowser. I do recommend the book if you're new to stamp carving she it's full of ideas and hints and tips and how to's um it's not the book for me but it is a good book um I did pick up a few ideas out of it but yeah anyway um I am going to but it is I would I want to say it is a very good book I would recommend it if you have it at your library go check it out at the library and um yeah I mean even if you're an experienced carver you might get some ideas like carving on rubber brayers like who knew anyway all right I'll anyway be um I did get one little drawing done in my practice book for the Felix Scheinberger class don't really like the way it turned out but I'll include it here you all give the patrons and supporters a uh, sneak peek before you all see it but I'll um, include the ugly ones here I you know sometimes things things just don't turn out the way you expect anyway we are going to go I think not go walking I think we're gonna go we have to go run a couple of Christmas errands so I think we're gonna go do that um, and get some dinner while we're out I don't know what exactly but I'm going to come back. I'm going to do my daily word brain puzzles for this noggin up here. And then I'm going to do my daily drawings. I might break out the black, the black sketchbook, the black bag. I did pick up another couple of these at Dick Blick today. I wanted a whole hand, like handful of them because I'm really enjoying using them in my sketchbook. But they literally had two, so I bought them both. I just dislike clearing a shelf, but um, anyway... Um, so I went and ordered some more on their website today, which I don't really like doing, but, you know, what are you going to do? I don't know. Anyway, uh, yeah, it's been a weird day, you guys. I don't know. It's just been a very strange day. I'm grateful for the podiatrist office calling me and telling me that the doctor was sick with COVID before I got down there and got exposed. Thank you, God, that that happened that way, but that's weird. And yes, I know my shoes are squeaky, so. Um, errands were, of course, weird because there were just whole sections at the store again that were empty. Um, I needed cottage cheese. We're trying not to do big, giant grocery shopping until Sunday, but um, there just wasn't a lot in there. I got a different off-brand. I have a particular brand that I like, um, but you know, no. So anyway, we're going to go see what Costco's like. That ought to be interesting. <laughs> All right. I'll be back. Maybe I can get some more art done tomorrow. I do have physical therapy in the morning, but I'm hoping I can come home and film a couple of things. So I'm overdue for a messy journaler video and I need to film another artsy trio video and, 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 and. <laughs> All right. Excuse me, that's it for the minute. Good morning, everybody. It is Wednesday, December 8th, uh, 8, 11 a.m. I know it's early, right? Oh, yeah, yeah. But I have physical therapy this morning, so... Turn left onto Southwest. Hey, I'm all done at North Lake Physical Therapy. If you need any work, physical therapy type work, I 100% would recommend them. And they're in the same building with an orthopedic office and an MRI visioning center. Yeah, it's a really great little complex. Anyway, 
now I'm gonna go try to pick up a few things on the Christmas list before I go home and try to like film a couple YouTube videos because I'm a little bit behind on that. So, all right, let's get, let's get it done. It's not gonna do itself. I'll be back. I don't think I've filmed anything since first thing this morning. <clears throat> I ended up going to Target for some more Christmas stuff and um, I found everything I needed, which is a surprise. Cause you know, you all know, that's not the norm right now. <laughs> the store is always out of inventory on something like Costco was last night with the bone broth. Anyway, it's not quite six o'clock yet. So I'm just waiting for the husband to finish up his work day upstairs. And then I think we're gonna go for a quick walk. Although I have 6,000 steps plus, so I don't need to do a ton of walking, <clears throat> but we will do some. Um, I got all the Christmas presents wrapped and uh, under the tree that I am allowed to access to wrap. So that's done. We did just get one, one more in. It's not an expensive gift, but it's a big box. I forgot that it was a big thing. Anyway, um, I got some artwork done. I started the new for end of December RT Trio video. I'm not gonna show you what I did but I'm doing more art experiments, very much inspired by Mike's um, vision board that he did, the mood board. <clears throat> it's his month to do it and it's, yeah, really cool. I need to do some more drawing up here and downstairs and behind, how is it drying? It's drying up really cool. Yeah. I like the way it's turning out. Um, I also need to do a patron and supporter live. Um, I need to get that done. And if not tomorrow, Friday. Probably tomorrow, maybe. They don't know that yet. Um, anyway, it's going to be tough to get any of them in this month because of Christmas and family stuff and trying to get videos done and scheduled ahead of time for you all. And I need to do another messy journaler video. And yeah, it's just a lot. December's always crazy. Anyway. So are you all ready for the holiday house? That light on my face is not for my flashlight. Oh my God, hang on. They do this for every holiday, and it's different every single time. Every year it's different. Yeah, it's so cool. Next to the skeleton house, it's my favorite house. But, you know, skeletons have to take precedence, especially when you have a 12-foot tall one. Just saying. All right.
morning, everybody. It is Thursday morning, 10.28 a.m., December 9th. Um, <laughs> I filmed a couple more clips for the RT Trio video. The page is still not dry yet, um, but I didn't really expect it to be today, although it's mostly dry. There is a wet spot, so we're going to let it go until tomorrow and film the closing clip. In the meantime, I have an idea for another clip, uh, or another clip, another video, which is inspired me to sort my alcohol inks of which I have way too many because I don't use them enough and I have duplicates of a few colors which I don't understand why plus we have some mystery colors that when I moved the bottles leaked and yeah I don't know what color I have no idea what color that is we might need to use those first anyway I have an idea that's going to be a separate video um was it going to film anything else today I think just those two things yeah, I'm going to go for a walk today sometime by myself because Bob's got a lodge meeting, a Masonic lodge meeting later. And I'm going to try to see if the patrons and supporters want to do a chat today. I'm going to film this first, let them know I'm going to go for a walk. Do they maybe want to chat after lunch? So we'll see. Um, yeah, catching up on news and social media this morning. And playing with my, I know. Anyway, I think that's it for the minute. Um, there's not a lot going on, but that's okay with me. Tomorrow morning, I have another physical therapy appointment at 8 a.m. bright and early. Um, I may just do my walk and go to the grocery store, walk to the grocery store and back because we need tomatoes and coffee creamer. I should have gotten them yesterday while it was out, but you know. Anyway, that's it for the minute. I'll be back. Okay, we've got the hair up. Yeah, puffy eye cream on, not that it ever does a lot of help, but you know. Anyway, we are going to go over to the store. I've got a plastic bag in my pocket. I've got an umbrella in my pocket because it is like that up there. So, you know, it could rain. Anyway, we'll go get our steps in and get the couple groceries we need at the same time. And while everything else is drying, I'll be back. I don't know where they go and they're awfully quick. I have no idea. I keep trying to figure it out, but I don't know. Good morning, everybody. It is 7.40 a.m. Friday morning, December 10th. I wanted to say February. I know it's not February. Um, it is very early. It's very cold. <laughs> it's like 30... Nine degrees, 37 degrees, something like that. The car says 42, but I know that's not right. Um, fun fact about my old Subaru. It gets so cold sometimes, I don't think the thermometer knows what to do. <laughs> All right, anyway, we are headed over to physical therapy this morning, and then um, I need to pop to the grocery store really quick for yet another thing we forgot that we need. Holy cow. We just need to go on Sunday and like get all of the things for the things because of the things. Um. I'm gonna put a coat on. It's a little bit nippy out here. Uh, anyway, we're gonna go get the mail. I spent a few hours when I got home chatting with some friends online and patrons and supporters and um, making paper clusters. I'll put a picture here. Um, I can't finish my one video because things aren't dry yet. So I was able to finish the other one though. I won't edit it until I can get the other one done. I'll edit them both at the same time. Hopefully this weekend, maybe on Sunday, because maybe shit's dry by then. Anyway, I'm gonna check the mail. Hopefully it's here because I think we have a Christmas card that came back. Not because of a dead person, because we don't have the right address. So in case you're new to this channel, like, share, and subscribe. But yes, we send out well over a hundred Christmas cards every year. 
and invariably we send one or more to people who have passed away in the prior year because I have forgotten or we didn't know or something. We, d we do try to send cards, but you know, if you've passed away, that makes it difficult. So anyway, this year, I think one of the nephews moved and I think nobody gave us the address. So anyway, I'm gonna go inside. It is, even for me, it's cold out here and we'll get that fixed. Um, but yeah, we've got a couple of cards on my desk that are gonna need adjustment this weekend. There's no rush now. So anyway, if I don't get it out until Monday, I think it's fine. All right, I'll morning, be back. everybody. It is Saturday morning, December 11th. Yes, I wanted to say September. I don't know why. Uh, it is just before 11 a.m. And oh, we are- I forgot my mask. There's- We have masks. We have, don't worry about it, Dad. Um, anyway, as you heard, my dad is in the car. He's, yeah, as usual, there's Grant. There he is right there. <laughs> it's okay. We are on our way to Jenny and Brian's new house to help the kids um, get moved in today. Um, Grandpa's going to change their locks. And um, yeah, so I think um, all of their friends and family as a community are getting together today to help them out. So it should be a lot of fun and help them get into their first house, which is always exciting. So anyway, uh, I'll take some footage where I can and I will be back. Um, pick the rainiest, wettest, windiest day so far this year to do this, but that's okay. I'll be back. We have been home for a little bit from helping the kids out with their new house. I am going to turn off the computer because it's on. I've got a few more Aquash, the Pentel water brushes. They are my favorite water brush. Um, so anyway, I'm going to put re replenish my drawer. I also have some parts for a video that I need to finish that are taking a long time to dry. So I'm gonna spread them out. So anyway, because yeah, I need to get the video done. Uh, but I'm working on a lot of projects at once, so finding space for stuff is challenging at best. Um, Jenny and Brian picked a really cute new house. I really like the place they got. Ooh, that one might be dry. Um, and I think they've just, I'm very proud of them. I think they've done a great job. For those that don't know, Jenny um, and Brian, we have a sort of adopted into the family as our other kids. Um, Jenny is a former daycare baby in my old daycare business. And she was my very first daycare baby. And I've known her literally since she was a newborn. <laughs> and so, uh, she's an old married lady now, but um, she's a wonderful human, and she married Brian, who is also a wonderful human, and we love them both very much. So um, we are happy to help them out how we can, and we love their new place. And yeah, it was a privilege to help them today. Anyway, I'm running out of space again. So I hope you've all had a good week, and um, that you're preparing for Christmas and the holidays and you're gonna have some fun, but safely, um, that you um, are making sure that everyone is safe, happy, healthy, vaccinated, boosted, whatever, wearing a mask, all the things, but also just celebrating the holiday and life. And there's always good things about what's going on in life. There's always bad, but there's always good anyway. I hope you're having a good one. I hope that you're not getting too stressed out and you're taking care of yourself. Remember that self-care, it's so important. Anyway, go out and have a great week. Do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys.